NBA Math's trade deadline primer with Coach Spins starts with a look at the Milwaukee Bucks, one of the more intriguing teams to watch for at the trade deadline. The entire roster, long-term and short-term, is built around MVP candidate Giannis Antetokounmpo. The team's firing of head coach Jason Kidd last week signaled an impatience and a readiness to win now. Giannis is flanked by shooting guard Chris Middleton and recent trade acquisition Eric Bledsoe at the point. When looking at Milwaukee's cap table, you can see that they are already nudging up against the luxury tax and the tax threshold. Currently, they're about $5 million underneath that tax number, with a little more than $10 million between them and the tax apron, a number that they surely cannot break this year. Long term, their cap prospects are similar, with only $18.5 million between them and the luxury tax next year, and that doesn't even factor in the retention of free agent-to-be Jabari Parker. While Parker's contract and retention this summer is an interesting case on its own, he was a 20-point-per-game scorer last season when healthy. Coming off his second ACL tear in three years, one has to wonder not only if he is worth a big-money contract, but if he really is another superstar worthy of flanking Giannis with. If the Bucks want to make a move at the deadline, they're probably going to have to find a way to part with one of their four expensive role players. The foursome of John Henson, Mirza Toledovic, Tony Snell, and Matthew Dellavedova combined for an unreal $41.2 million for next season and over $30 million in the 2019-2020 campaign. Finding a taker for some of those salaries may be difficult, and the Bucks may have to use reigning Rookie of the Year Malcolm Brogdon as a sweetener. Brogdon's long-term upside may be limited in Milwaukee anyway with the presence of Eric Bledsoe, so using him in a deal to create more cap space might be beneficial for general manager John Horst. Beyond that, the Bucks don't have too many assets they may be able to leverage for their own gain. They've already given up a first-round pick to Phoenix, and though it may not be conveyed this year, there is a strong likelihood it would next season. Their biggest trade chip might also be a $5 million trade exception they received last year in a Roy Hibbert deal. For all intents and purposes, that exception expires if not used at the trade deadline. Whether they target another big man to round out the roster or a wing that can shoot and stretch the floor, the Bucks are going to try to play more up-tempo. Their current roster is long, athletic, features multiple ball handlers, and is primed to play in transition. Whatever long-term play the Bucks make, even if it means just waiting for Jabari Parker to return, expect the team to debut a much more up-tempo system. Giannis and all of the young Bucks would clearly benefit.